today i hope you all are having a beautiful wonderful day filled with love self-love and positivity and just <sighs> life today i'm gonna today's video is gonna be another sit down chat video it's gonna be a real quick special video because today is valentine's day well tomorrow will be valentine's day you guys know i want to give you 10 things to do for valentine's day when you're single now i don't know if some of you know but i am single and i'm happy i'm I like being single like it is I don't I don't have time the stress is real I don't have time but a lot of people don't like being single on Valentine's Day because everybody makes this month all about love giving love receiving love and people forget to care and love for themselves so I want to give you guys 10 things that you could do with yourself or some of your closest friends on the Valentine's Day these are gonna be fun positive things to keep you uplifted and motivated I, I looked up uh, I watched a few videos I watched a few videos as well as I looked at a few blogs and a lot of them have a lot of fun stuff but some of them have stuff like have like um, a romantic comedy mar movie marathon um, sit and listen to like your favorite love song singer drink wine all day just those something you just alone and you just allow to sit and be in your thoughts and I don't really think that's very positive I want to do stuff that's positive and uplifting and to help you recharge focus on yourself or just give you that boost of energy they may need you may be a person that needs to take time to recharge you by themselves or you may need a person that needs to be out in the world and just get a boost of energy and positivity being out amongst people so have my little notebook love my notebook isn't it so cute i won it at the uh, african fashion week when i won that runway when i slayed that runway y'all so i have my list i have 10 things so um number one the first thing, I, as soon as I saw this, I was like, that is such a good idea because I was actually thinking of doing this myself. And that is a secret Santa gift exchange between, between you and your girlfriend. You can take two or three, four of your closest girlfriends and do like a secret Santa, secret Santa gift exchange. You can give each other hearts, um, like candy hearts. You give each other flowers or like their favorite city or some of their favorite makeup or whatever your close girlfriend likes. You can give them as a gift and you guys can just all sit around and exchange gifts or you can go by and drop these gifts off on Valentine's Day or the weekend just to, you know, get somebody, show somebody love. And, and in doing so, when you show love to your, um, your girlfriends, especially those who encourage you, who inspire you, who are in your corner, loving, positive friends. I'm talking about loving, positive friends, positive people in your life, people with good energy, good vibes. That rubs off on you and in tone, they give you that encouragement and that positivity and those good vibes that you need. So that is a form of self-care as well. Number two, pamper yourself. Take the time to treat yourself. Whether you go out and you go to a spa day, um, go get a massage, just take the time, whether it's an hour massage or hour and a half massage, spend all day at the spa, only spend a few hours, get your nails done, get your toes done, get rubbed up on, take the time and just re-energize yourself. Take care of your body and I promise you, your body will take care of you in return. And that's just, you know, you could do this by yourself or again, you could do it with some of your favorite, positive, loving, encouraging girlfriends or guy friends i mean you know like i don't think there's nothing wrong with a bunch of guys going to the spa i mean i'd rather them go to the spa and get that get themselves taken care of get them claws on their feet grooms they just be coming up looking like a, a beast okay my name ain't bell i don't like a beast <laughs> okay all right i'm back my camera died my batteries died. I had to let them charge. I'm wearing my shirt differently, but we're not gonna we're not gonna focus on that because that's not important. We're gonna get back to the show. So Number three. And I got this idea from Sierra Holmes of Eccentric Curves. She mentioned this in a live stream she did on Facebook with, with Diego. 
and she suggested doing a professional photo shoot. So you want to take the time, do some research, and find a local photographer to get you a professional photo shoot taken. Whether you're out in your city, ooh, the sun is coming out. Okay, lights. Everybody calm down. You want to take the time, do some research, and find you a professional photographer. And whether you go out in your city and use your city as your backdrop or you're in-house in the studio, nothing boosts your confidence and self-esteem more than getting all dialed up and doing a photo shoot with a professional photographer where you're there as you and the photographer and the camera is loving you and you're loving the camera and you're just vibing together and it's absolutely wonderful you can do uh you can dress all up do different themes you can do a pinup theme you can do a doll theme you can do a glam hollywood glam thing or you can also bring along your friends they could just be there to cheer you on to boost you up or they could also jo join in it could just be a fun little girls day thing um Another way to spice up and boost your confidence is to do, um, she also suggested uh, a boudoir, a boudoir photo shoot. Basically get you some nice, cute, sexy lingerie or a teddy and have like a private, intimate photo shoot in a bedroom or a bedroom setting. And these photos are for you. They're not for anyone else. They're for you. They're for you to look back on days that you're feeling sad or you're feeling a little overwhelmed or you're just having a bad day you can go back and look and say you know what i look good i look damn i look good i'm glad i did that it's just another memory you have something for you to keep to yourself so don't think about it as you're doing a photo shoot to pass out your friends no this is a photo shoot for you so just for you to look back on to build your confidence to just mark something that you did i really like that idea that was a very good idea Number four. So speaking of treating yourself and get all glammed up, another one is to have a professional makeover. It could be something small as getting your hair cut or colored, or it could be something as big as getting a whole head-to-toe makeover. Hair, makeup, clothes, get a professional stylist, all that type of stuff. Now, you may be saying, now nah, you, the budget queen who makes her own clothes, who got money to get a professional photo professional photographer and um, a make a makeover girl Groupons Groupons got all of this I will try to find some link and link it below but if you take the time to do your proper research I'm pretty sure you can find something reasonable in price and I don't know some of you guys out there make out money like that I don't know I don't know your life I don't I don't presume to know what you got in your bank account but just take the time. You can go to simply go to Macy's and get a makeover at the, one of the counters. Go to a college school. That's free. They just encourage you to buy something. You could go to any hair school or beauty school and have the one of the students do your makeover or your hair color. And then you can just, you know, have fun window shopping. You could just spend the day window shopping. You don't necessarily have to try, buy anything. You could just try a whole bunch of clothes on, take photos with your girlfriends and just have a good old time. Again, you could do this by yourself or you could do it with some of your closest girlfriends or your sisters or your mom or your daughter if she's of um, a certain age this will be a real fun activity like I said you want to bring positivity and good energy and good vibe into your lives whether you spend it with yourself or you spend it with good people who can vibe with you I don't know what the sun is on but she is on one like she coming out today I hope she um melt all that snow and ice outside I need to be cruel I ain't got time to be struggling through no snow Number five, speaking of being with your closest girlfriends and just being around positive, like-minded, good vibes people, how about you host and host or throw a gal's day party? It could be a lunch or it could be a dinner. Get, get together all your single friends or all of your friends who have spouses that's in the military or people in a long-distance relationship. Because they're not alone. They are by themselves technically single on Valentine's Day. So what better way to get everybody in a good spirit all together to be around all that love and positivity than to host a gal's day luncheon or dinner. It could be a theme one. Um, you can do like Sex in the City. You can do like at time Valentine's Day. It could be anything. Any different thing. You could do like I said a retros pinup. Hollywood glam. You girls could get all dressed up. Or you can do like a budget friendly one. And just have someone over your house. Or another friend's house. Who has you know a real nice house. Big kitchen, living room, dining room, whatever. And then y'all can all get together. Get wine and cook together. So you all you guys are all together. Cooking, talking, drinking wine. Just having a nice old mimosas. And just have a nice time together. I really do like that idea. Me and my friends are going to be doing that next week. Again, I'm so very excited. 
Number six, have you a staycation? This is such a good idea because you can literally go to a hotel in your city or outside of your city in your suburbs and have you a bit of staycation. You can stay in your hotel room all weekend long or all day long and eat room service, order movies, and just have a good old time. This, this is perfect for people who have roommates or live with other family members or people who have kids, single moms, single dads. Just take the time to be with yourself, to sit down and talk with yourself. It's better than just sitting in and just drinking wine and having a movie marathon for romantic comedies and just reminding yourself that you're not in a relationship, whereas you can watch like sci-fi movies or horror movies or mystery movies and just eat room service or Thai food. Like, that is amazing. Or if you can't afford a whole hotel room and room service you can always do this in the comfort of your own home kick out your kids tell your roommates to leave and go leave with their boyfriends or girlfriends and leave you to have the place to yourself <laughs> number seven digital detox there are times when social media and the news can just be too much too overwhelming for some people it is really really a struggle when you have all of this information been bombarded to you and shoved down your throat and you feel like you have to be on top of everything because you need to know what's going on in today's world this is the time to take the time to just be by yourself stay off your phone stay off of the internet and just commune with nature take your time and just you know Get to know yourself, and you can take the time to catch up on a book. You can, I don't are you allowed to do, listen to music? I have done this a few times where I did like a fast, where for a whole week I stayed off social media and the internet and everything, and I just allowed myself my Pandora playlist because I, I need music. I'm a musical creature. I need that in my life. I haven't done it recently since really getting into Full Style Inc., point is take the time to digital detox you can unplug you can again you can do this by yourself or you can do this with some friends and just take 24 if, if you 12 hours 12 hours 24 hours just to unplug and just be with yourself without outside influences no tv just you and your space and your world just you could do this in your hotel room you can do this in the privacy of your own home and just get you know just spend time with yourself. Talk to your talk to yourself. Listen to yourself. Like I told you, you gotta sit down and talk to yourself. You know, ask yourself what you want. Sometimes yourself don't want to answer, but you need to get an answer because you need to know. Especially this is especially perfect for someone who's going through a difficult time or they feel like they're stuck and trapped and they need to move on to the next phase in their life. I know with me, sometimes just sitting down and talking to myself and just being with myself really helps me move on to the next moments in my life. Take a long, hot bath. Um, make yourself a nice lunch or a nice dinner and just sit there and eat and just be with yourself. Number eight, how about do something, how about you check off something on your bucket list or check off something that you have been dying to do but you couldn't do because you didn't have no friends to do it with or you was in a relationship and that person didn't like that but you really wanted to do it. Do something on your bucket list that you have been dying to do. Whether it's take a dance class somewhere, whether it's go skydiving, ice skating, anything. I'm not going to jump out of a plane, but you can. That's perfectly fine. And me on skates, I don't really see it happening, but I would definitely take a class. <laughs> I would definitely take a class. Just take the time and go look up in your city. Go on Groupon. Go on Eventbrite. Find like a party or something. Find something that you really want to do to check it off your bucket list. Take photos. Have fun. And just be with yourself. It's good to go out and like I said, date yourself. Take yourself out to go somewhere and, you know, have a good time. Number nine. And the influence of all teen movies and teen shows, screaming the word, road trip! Love a good road trip. Take a road trip, you and your girls, or just you, and just drive somewhere. It don't have to be across country, it'll lead you to the next thing. I can take a road trip up to Wisconsin Dales, or I can take a road trip down to St. Louis, and just pack up the car, you and your girlfriends, a great playlist, a good snacks, and a destination, and just drive that is so much fun the destination the driving to getting to the place it seemed like so much fun than actually being i know for me i love the idea of a road trip you would think i got grown out of it hated because i literally spent my childhood driving back between here in wisconsin here in ohio here in mississippi <laughs> drove to florida one time that was a nightmare 
I drove from here to Orlando, Florida in high school for my class trip. 22 hours. Who? Why? But a good road trip. And then, of course, being in college, driving from here to Carverdale every other few months. The five hours. A five hour drive is nothing to me. Like, literally, that's nothing to me. That's, I could do that in my sleep. Like, literally, sometimes I be asleep, but, you know, sometimes I don't. So, whatever. You guys don't even have to go to a destination to stay a few days. Y'all could literally do a round trip. So you drive an hour and a half, two hours to a location, go to a concert, go see a movie, go out to eat, to a restaurant that you've been wanting to go to that's only in that location, stay there for a few hours or the rest of the day, and then drive the hour and a half, two hours back. And you just have that time in a car with each other, talking, singing, and just having fun again, surrounding yourself with positive, good vibes people. I love a good road trip. Like, it's so, it's so fun. And plus, I don't really sleep in a car. If there's other people in the car sleep, I stay up with the driver. Uh, because, you know, the driver shouldn't be left alone. A lot of people like to go to sleep on the car with the driver, which is rude. Especially you sit in the front seat. Don't go to sleep on a driver in the front seat. <sighs> off, off on a rant. Number 10, this one is real person. It's something for just you. You could probably do this if you decide to do a, dig a digital detox. This is probably an activity you could do during that time. And that is write a love letter to yourself to open next Valentine's Day. Take the time and sit down and talk to yourself. Talk to your future self. Tell yourself what's going on right now, what you love about yourself right now, what you wish and hope for for the next year, your goals, your accomplishments, your fears. Just be honest and vulnerable with yourself. Sit down and just talk to yourself. Talk to your future self. I promise you when you, when you sit down and write this letter, it'll be very lethargic. You get it all out, all your emotions, all your ideas, all your fears, and you feel very whole and accomplished like you accomplished something but ah i could breathe and then you close it up you hide it away and then you find it a year later you come back to it and you read it and you realize how much you have either grown how much you're changed how much you're expired then or if you're having a really really bad day like a really really bad day or bad week or bad month and you just need some uplifting you're not getting it from anywhere else because no one else seems to get it you open up this love letter you are telling yourself how beautiful and wonderful and how much you love yourself and how much you can do this and all these inspiring things and you get it yourself gets it so you're able to help yourself out of your really, really bad day. I know I probably made that more complicated than it seems, but I really do like the idea of writing a love letter to yourself. And I think that's something I'm going to do. It don't have to ne necessarily be a love letter. It could just be a letter. But I really do encourage you to sit down and write yourself a love letter just to love on yourself. So like I said, you can take that out within any time of the year. It don't have to be next Valentine's Day. But you could take it, take it out during any time of the year and just remind yourself how much how beautiful and powerful and magical you are. I that's, I feel like that's really important for every every one of us to remember from time to time, especially when the world can be really, really hard and try to get down on us and put us in a box. The society is trying to put us in a box and we be different in a box. You have to remind yourself that you are bigger than a box. Don't. The quote I posted on my Instagram this day is that I need to stop judging myself through everyone else's eyes. I think this is real personal, real good to take the time and just write and love yourself and write yourself a love letter to remind yourself throughout the year, throughout the week, if you're having a bad day, to say, hey girl, stop crying. Shed them tears, honey. We are beautiful. We are magical. We are wonderful. I love you. You love me. We the same person. We loving each other. <laughs> I could imagine me writing that. Something is wrong with me. But guys, I just really think it's an idea. So anywho, these are 10, maybe 10, I don't know, 8. I lost count along the way. But these are 10 things to do for Valentine's Day when you're single. I really encourage you guys to try at least one of these things out this Valentine's Day. You don't have to do it actually on third on Wednesday because Valentine's Day is on a Wednesday in the middle of the week odd but you can do it over the weekend whether you do it with yourself whether you do it with your girls whether you do it with your mother your sisters your daughter i really encourage the time or for all my guys out there whether you do it with your bros your brother your dad you guys are probably like yeah i'm not doing that with any of them i'ma just not tell them and do it myself hey i don't judge you live your life but i really encourage you to try some of these things
But if I'm see, I'm if positive, I'm not. I'm a little bit, little bit, little bit. I think I counted my stuff wrong. Anywho, number 10, number 10, number 9, number 8, whatever number this is, I can't remember, I think I got it myself wrong. This one is definable because, you know, I'm just an awesome creative person. Okay, I kind of went, Anywho, 